an adventure. We've hijacked someone's uh, Land Rover and we're going to the Unknown. It's a place that's south of Sedwana Bay and hopefully we find it. If not, somebody's going to send a search party. Well, it's a great way to wake up. Properly disorientated. But uh, I've had a love bait on for the last hour or I don't even know. I actually fell asleep and uh, finally something's found it. Let's see what it is. Yo, the big, big head nods. This is not happy he's been hooked. The kingfish master. And uh, you always, in a fight, you, you think it's a, think it's a GT and you kind of can feel that constant head nod with him just sitting in the current. I didn't want to say anything, I didn't want to jinx myself. Yeah. And I'll measure that when you get back to my bag. Alright, let's get it back in the water. Ah. It's starting to kick. I can feel the life coming back into him and he should be ready to go any minute. Always remember, head into the current. Try to keep the tail up so the body stays erect. That's an unbelievable experience. Well, my, my rod's running but I, I don't know. We're actually lying sleeping on the beach and where's his rod's gone? So I've got a feeling his rod went and caught my line so he's i can feel it on my line so he's running down the line now to find his rod and um we ended up passing out by a fishing rod and the wind picked up and the rod was just over the dune i couldn't hear it and all of a sudden rudolph's rod started screaming and i ran out to the rod and my rod has actually gone out of the rod holder and i followed the line where it popped out and then it crossed Rudolph's rod and somehow it actually got stuck on his line and then his rod was screaming so I followed that line down to the water's edge and there was the rod I had actually been stripped and my fish is sitting 800 meters down south It's all chaos this morning Firstly I've caught Wesley's rod with a fish on and while I'm busy helping Wesley my rod screams and it also hooked a fish so now both of us are on well, this fish is running far to the right. There's a lot of reef here on the right hand side. So I can actually feel the reef. And finally I've managed to turn this fish around and it's heading back north. One of the things with the, these big GTs, the giant Trevelli, they're really a fish of habit and they work immediate areas and they get to know the areas you find when you hook them that they know exactly where all the rocks are all right well that's a bit unfortunate i got the fish quite closely into the shallows a lot of reef in the water and uh, unfortunately cut me off but so be a, a kingfish as well felt like a gt so let's see what we just got on yeah well you can never you can never tell this uh Looks like we got a black fin on, but it, the initial stages it fought just like a GT. And you know, when you're fishing for these GTs, you either get a GT or you get a black fin. Thank you. Well done. Wow! Excellent. 
This is a result of a strip reel, a flying HNG rod and a pen torque 40 that must have shot off out of the rod holder like a rocket. Uh, very, very lucky to get this fish out. It traveled 800 meters down the beach and didn't find rock. Uh, it's just one of those lucky fish. Let's get him back in the water. Or she, should I say. As you can see, there's no claspers. So it's a strong female. I'm gonna get her back in the water. She's been an absolute amazing fight. She's healthy, she's strong. We have to catch and release. ASFN is all about catch and release. And let's get her back in the water. 